Hello, 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 hello. I'm Yol, and you know what? I have said it before, and I'm gonna say it again, because people seem to be a bit stupid, or ignorant, or what the hell not. So, uh, you know what a cell phone is, right? Everyone has a um, cell phone these days. You know, it is this black mirror we all carry in the pocket. And as long as it has power, it will uh, it will uh, send a signal, send and receive signals. And such a signal can be picked up by towers as long as they are in operation. Or nearby cell phones. But as we all know, the alien style motion sensor, where mm, uh, akin to this, where you have this shock uh, pulse going outwards and going bleep, 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 and then you get shafted. That's, uh, that's purely the realm of science fiction. But they cell phone, right? Imagine that if you had an app that lets you, uh, that shows a grid of this nature, that's, as you say, the one by one, for example, right? As in one meter, one by one meter square. And if you're done the blip in the middle, and as you traverse through town, Every other active cell phone is another blimp, another bleep. Right? Makes sense. Mm, this is how you locate people. Uh, this is a way, a way to locate people uh, gone missing and such. But... Um, if, let's say, there is a, a typical uh, zombie scenario, or uh, some sort of outbreak of the, the dead dudes uh, uh, doing Manhattan, then uh, it becomes a lot more interesting, because this is how you adjust difficulty. So, day one. All cell phones have power. You're in the middle, and you will see a lot of signals. That means that practically every signal blimp is a um, potential zombie or survivor. But on uh, day two, some phones will probably be destroyed or have an accident to run out of power or whatnot. And then there will be less... Uh, Less blimps, not necessarily less mobs, mind you. It can be just as many or even more. But you don't know that because, um, uh, let's say day three, and then suddenly maybe have two, three or four signals. But it can be just as many Johnny Zombie. And zombie Bombies around. You don't know. And that makes it harder. Then you can only rely on visual clues and s sound. And that only works if you have a good sound design in, with the three dimensional sound in the first place that cares about, mm, uh, about the horizontal and vertical sound. So that you can hear if something is above you, or below, to the left, to the right, and into the front, or at the back of you. And so, this is what it will look like on day... Um, is 7, right? Here you in the middle. You have the grid. And then there might be one or two signals. Uh, in the street, 
and the rest is uh... so that could potentially be survivors or <clears throat> a or you know zombies but the whole point is uh, as the days go on you have less uh, signals you can find meaning it's harder to diff harder to find people also plus you know you can also uh, if everybody carries a cell phone you can scavenge a working cell phone for batteries or replace the one you have uh, in case you find a better model so yeah you can make it also into a collectathon where you get the buff buff from uh, buff from uh, mm, uh, tablets found also I do to days and distance the more days and the further from the start point you are as a your couple of square grids uh, above like one two three four five right it could be less signals but it's also a chance for that tablet or phone uh, to have an app or such thing that gives a serious boost or knowledge or anything or it could lead to a cache or or a survivor so um, I haven't seen this system properly utilized and it would make zombie games one step more interesting and engaging in so many ways. It's also the most logical way to do a motion sensor as seen in sci-fi. Does in a city full of monsters. Power does not last forever. And this, but a cell phone is something everyone has before they turn. So yeah, who for thought? Have a good one, and I'm signing out. Links down below. I have a patron, I have a lot of everything else. Goodbye.